Hello there and welcome again to RC Model Reviews. This is a very quick video because lots of people have been asking me where's the turbine video? Where's the Hobby King turbine review or the close look? Let's just see the damn thing running and well yes it hasn't been running yet and it's my fault because I've had several factors that have worked against me. First of all my big 20 litre drum of jet fuel had gone off and basically what happens there is that uh, there are some kinds of bacteria that will actually live in jet fuel and diesel fuel and a few other complex hydrocarbons and if you leave your fuel in a place where it's warm over summer sometimes the bacteria will take hold and they create horrible black strings of yuck like slime algae inside the, the fuel itself so when I went to decant some of my jet fuel into a smaller container for testing the turbine I found it was contaminated and had to throw it out so I threw out the 20 litres I had and I ordered 20 litres of Jet A1 which arrived duly and that's all sitting there in the workshop waiting to be used but I didn't have any more oil and you can't just throw in you know the old lawnmower oil because turbines have bearings that spin at very high RPMs you know 150 160,000 RPM so if you throw in the wrong oil they don't last very long and there are other factors you don't want an oil that produces lots of carbon because it'll block the fine tubes and the uh, manifold that provide fuel to the vaporizing tubes it's all sorts of considerations so most turbine manufacturers recommend you use turbine oil which is the oil they use in real jet engines so I got my jet A1 and I had to order some turbine oil and of course that took a little while to arrive but fortunately if I reach up here <coughs> you can see I now have another can of turbine oil see that genuine mobile mobile turbine oil so we have the jet A1 we have the oil and believe it or not I even have if we look at this big box here an airframe an airframe that I'll be using if the turbine works we'll put the turbine in this airframe and we'll try it out but first of all I shall take the turbine out to the workshop bolt it to my workbench or my test bench and fire it up see if it actually runs because at this stage we don't know I haven't tried running it can't run it without fuel without good fuel so that's the situation with the Hobby King turbine just keeping you informed I haven't disappeared off the face of the planet things are happening here but it's as I say it's winter weather's bad and the fuel was bad so there you go watch out as soon as the weather clears you'll be seeing the turbine running I hope or at least you'll see me trying to get the turbine running and we'll see how good the Hobby King turbine remembering it is a prototype we'll see how good it really is so thank you for watching and your patience stay tuned see you soon on RC Model Reviews